What's going on guys? Hi y'all, another beer video. I got a beer from Epic Brewing today. It is their Big Bad Baptist Hazelnut Vanilla Latte. It's Imperial Stout aged in whiskey barrels with roasted cocoa nibs, coffee, vanilla, and roasted hazelnuts. Here's the uh, bottle artwork there. And this is a 2019 release. Um, it's 11 and a half or 11, 11.2% 11 ABV. And there's that little band or ribbon or whatever on top of the bottle there. Uh, so it's rare release and of course I had um, Big Bad Baptist before Big Bad Big Bad Baptista um, And the other variations I don't remember by I've never had this before I'm not sure what the bottling date is on this, but today is the 13th of March man Let's get this into a glass. It looks like it smells like it tastes like and it's a pretty damn good day for a stout because it was just snowing earlier, it wasn't sticking or anything, but it was snowing, it's pretty damn cold outside. So, uh, stop season is still in full effect, even though we're nearing spring. Let's see if I can get a head to form here. Let's call that good. So yeah, there's a head, sweet. Um, probably would have formed about a whole entire finger of head. Let's just call it a finger, a finger of head. It was just shy of a finger, but I think it was because my pouring, if I kept pouring, it probably would have formed that full finger. Um, the head is great, man. It's like this very dark, uh, I was gonna say dark milk, but I'm gonna go with milk chocolate. Um, slightly darker than milk chocolate, maybe. Head there, it looks creamy. It uh, It's just comprised of a bunch of tiny bubbles with some medium bubbles. Um, gathering the one side of the cup there, but overall the color is great. This is a very very dark beer I'm gonna say it's yeah, it's pitch black. If not, it's extremely extremely dark brown by putting it away from the light man It is definitely a pitch black beer pretty much what I expected. Let's get the aroma on this Pretty excited too because I like hazelnut uh, Maybe not particularly vanilla lattes, but I don't mind them um, But I like hazelnut flavoring in my coffee. So pretty excited Oh yeah, you get a lot of coffee on this. Like it's just bursting of coffee. And as you know from my previous videos, I'm not like a huge coffee person. I don't hate it, but I don't like go out of my way to get it. And I don't like beers that are too coffee heavy because then it has like that weird green, uh, maybe too roasted of a coffee flavor or burnt coffee flavor. And so hopefully I'm not gonna get this in this, get that in this, um, but it smells pretty damn good. Some oakiness, definitely some vanilla sweetness. <sighs> vanilla sweetness, I'm trying to get hazelnut. I think I got it in the last whiff, but let's give it a slight swirl here. Oh yeah, that vanilla, and I kind of get like oaky spirit, I suppose. I'm not sure how else to explain it, but check out the legs on that too. Looks nice, man, on the glass. Yeah, I guess I'm getting a fusion of like sweet vanilla with a hint of hazelnut and then just of course a lot of coffee, slight oakiness and uh, what I'm calling spirit. So like it's, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. It's like woody, oaky, alcohol smell. Chocolate of course, dark and um, chocolate, but you do smell the uh, cocoa nibs. Smoke chocolate is great, man. It goes really well with that slight hazelnut and that um, vanilla sweetness. That's about all I'm getting. It smells like an adult version of like a bowl of um, Cocoa Puffs. That's really what it smells like. It smells pretty damn good. Let's get into the flavor, man. And this has been sitting out for probably 10, between 10 and 15 minutes. So it's not quite room temperature, but it's not like out of the fridge cold. So let's get into it. Cheers. interesting so that first sip what I realized what I noticed was it's a little on the thinner side I was really hoping to be a bigger thicker stout um, but that could change with you know the next sip or the next three sips uh, but up front coffee roasted coffee man not very not like an overwhelming coffee flavor which I like uh, it doesn't taste very green, just tastes like a very nice, pleasant, roasted cup of, uh, of coffee. The second sip is a little bit more velvety. Again, oakiness. It kind of fades, the coffee doesn't really fade out. It gets more, 
less uh, less of like a latte flavor up front. So up front you get like a latte um, coffee flavor. And then as it fades, you get more of just like roasted coffee beans and then the oakiness comes in and slight vanilla sweetness. I'm still trying to get the hazelnut, but I think it's on the finish. It's like kind of getting it now, I suppose, as the beer has already gone down, it's still kind of wrapping up. It is boozy. I do taste uh, alcohol presence there, but that's expected because it's 11.2% ABV. Uh, so totally expect and as you watch my if you watch my other videos, you know that I enjoy that um, Doesn't bother me is literally why I drink these beers not the only not the only reason but I drink them because I like that I like tasting you know the, the spirit I suppose Also what I didn't mention early on was when you get that um, roasted coffee aroma or um, a taste you also get a lot of that cocoa coming through it's like really dark cocoa um, a lot of that hardly any milk chocolate if at all uh, that coffee flavor and the dark chocolate really takes over but that vanilla sweetness it still remains it is definitely less presence on the uh, palate as it is on the nose but it's still there I'm getting very, very little hazelnut and I kind of wish it was more present just because I like hazelnut, but all the other flavors are definitely there. Roasted coffee is great. Uh, not a, it's a, it's a coffee bomb, but it's not like a huge green, uh, just straight up coffee bean flavor. It, it has more depth to it. It has more complexity, which I like. Uh, it's not just like a huge coffee bomb where it tastes like I'm just drinking, you know, black coffee. Um, yeah, so. To me, this is not bad, this is pretty damn good. I uh, wish the mouthfeel was better. It, it, it did get slightly more velvety as I'm sipping on it, uh, as the sips continue, but it is still on the thin side for me. Like, for a beer this, of this like caliber, I suppose, this alcohol content, and uh, I just really expected the, a fuller mouthfeel, like that velvety, silky, chewy decadent mouthfeel really does a lot for a huge stout i'm not getting a lot of that here it's slightly velvety but it is not where i think it should be uh, i know that not all stouts and all beers are gonna be have that full on body but i mean it really does add a lot to a beer like even if the flavor is not amazing but if it's at least good and the mouth feels like great i mean it just it really offsets that quite a bit. Not saying that this beer is bad, it has great flavor. I just wish the mouthfeel, the body was better. Yeah, yeah this is definitely very near um, room temperature. Uh, definitely slightly chiller than room temperature, but I think this is pretty damn good, like drinking temperature, where you're able to pick up the little nuances and the body did thicken up a little. I think if it was colder, it'd be pretty thin. Um, yeah, anyways, man, this is uh, Big Bad Baptist, I'm trying to remember it. Hazel Vanilla Latte, or Hazelnut Vanilla Latte, 11.5% uh, ABV Imperial South Asian Whiskey Barrels. Uh, definitely recommend trying them out. Try the base beer, Big Bad baptist and then baptista is the another variation they just have a bunch of variations but they're all great man try them out um very easily accessible you guys like the video give it a thumbs up comments link below subscribe for more videos hit that notification bell for new videos and as always dream your dreams and believe all things are possible thank you for watching cheers